The Bible says that you must repent. Repent and believe the word of God today. The Bible says unless a person be born again, they shall not see the kingdom of God. You need to repent. Repent of all kinds of wickedness. Jesus Christ can set you free today. His blood can cleanse your sin. Today will you still harden your heart? Will you still trample underfoot? the Son of God today, will you still count the blood that Jesus shed for your soul as an unholy thing? Today, God is commanding everyone to repent and believe the gospel today. Repent of your drunkenness. Judgment is coming soon upon this nation and upon this world. You might laugh and scoff today, but one day you'll stand before the God of this whole earth. He'll cast many into a lake of fire because they have rejected the only way of Jesus Christ. Today, there's many of you that you trust in going to a church to save your soul. Many of you trust that you do good works. The Bible says there's none that is righteous, no, not one. The Bible says for all that have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Today, if you were to die today, you would be in a head-on collision today. You would enter eternity lost without God. You would go to a hell. There's a real place called hell today. I'm here to warn you. I'm here to tell you that God doesn't want you to go to hell, and neither do I. God made a way through Jesus Christ. If you choose to stay smoking pot, you choose to stay drinking a beer, you're choosing to go on a downward spiral to hell today. If you are in pornography today, it's corrupting your soul. It will take your soul to hell. I'm here to warn you today. God can set you free from pot. God can set you free. You need to repent. God can deliver you today from drunkenness. He can deliver you from fornication. There's many of you that are living in sex before marriage. And the Bible says that all fornicators will not go to heaven. If you want to know what the truth says, read the Bible today. The Bible says there is only one path. There's a straight way. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. The Bible says there's only one path that will lead you to heaven. And that's by Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. The blood of Jesus can cleanse you from sin. Today your heart is wicked. You are wicked. You like the bars. You like the things that God hates. God hates country music. God hates rap music. God hates everything of the world. The Bible says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Today, if you love to watch your rated R movies, you love to watch that filth on your television, which is an idol, you love that today, that means that you hate God. You're going to answer. You laugh today, sir, you laugh today, but one day your hands won't be on your hips when you stand before God. It won't be a funny matter as souls are being cast into hell for eternity. Today, I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying to get you to count your soul as precious. You want to stay in your drunkenness? You want to stay in your pornography? You want to smoke your cigarettes? You want to stay in rebellion against God? It's your choice. It'll cost your soul. It'll cost your soul. It's real. I'm telling you, it's real. I'm here to warn you. I don't get paid to be here, but I want to turn some souls to Christ. I want to turn some hearts to God that you would repent of your wickedness, turn from your drunkenness, turn from your rebellion. It's real today. There is only one chance you get. You have one life. The Bible says it is appointed once for man to die, and after this, the judgment, you're heading towards the judgment. You will stand before God one day. You're not promised tomorrow. You might leave this earth today. You don't know if you'll have a heart attack tonight. You don't know if you'll mix the wrong prescription. You might leave eternity today and stand before the Holy God and give an account for your sinful life, and God is trying to reach you one more time. He's knocking on the door of your heart. Why don't you repent? Why will you harden your heart against God today? Why don't you just trust Him today? Why don't you surrender your life to Jesus today and find life in Him today? 
The blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you from all sin. I don't care what you've done. Many of you don't believe in hell. It doesn't matter whether you believe in hell or not, it's real. And the Bible says that all that live ungodly, all that do unrighteousness is sin. Today your heart is far away. Today you are rebelling against the holy God that has given you a way of escape in Jesus Christ. Repent and believe the gospel. Don't trust in just going to church. Many of you have a TV that you watch all kinds of filth on night after night. That's your God. That's your idol. That's what you love. God is trying to call you to repentance. Unless you will repent, there is no mercy. Unless you will repent, the blood of Jesus cannot cleanse you. You have to come in agreement with God. Repent of drunkenness. Repent of all kinds of immorality. Repent. I'm warning you today. Repent of having sex before marriage. It will take your soul to hell. I promise you, if you don't believe me, read the Word of God. The Word of God will judge every single human being that ever walked the face of this earth, small and great, rich and poor. I don't care if you own a company. I don't care if you're an athlete. I don't care if you're just a janitor at some bar. You're going to be judged before God one day. God's going to judge you by His Word. If you're smoking pot today, it will take your soul to hell. If you're drinking whiskey today, it will take your soul to hell. I'm here to tell you, if you're, ha you're living in adultery today, God commands you to repent. Don't call sin good. The Bible said in the last days, man would love unrighteousness. They would call evil good and good evil. The Bible says that homosexuality is an abomination against God. God can forgive someone from homosexuality. It is wicked. God can cleanse a heart of sin. There's some of you today that you are liars. You tell lies repeatedly. The Bible says clearly that all liars shall inherit the lake of fire. I implore you to repent and believe the gospel today. Believe that the blood of Jesus can cleanse you today. Don't go on in your wicked path, sinner. Sinner, it's time to come to God and repent. It's time to humble yourself before the God of all the world. Jesus says, unless you abide in me, he says, apart from me, you can do nothing today. Many of you, you know about Jesus. Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you love Jesus, you won't go to the bar. If you love Jesus, you won't go dancing. If you love Jesus, you won't watch some wicked show on television. If you, if you love Jesus, you won't watch some rated R movie. If you love Jesus, you won't worship sports. You won't worship entertainment. If you love Jesus, you're going to have to obey him. And that's what you won't do today. You won't obey God. The Bible says clearly, the righteous will obey. The Bible says clearly, faith without works is dead. Some of you have a profession, but you still live ungodly. You're heading towards hell, and I'm here to try to turn your heart to God. I'm here to try to warn you that there is only one way. How you doing? Jesus is coming soon. The writing is on the wall. Time is almost up. Many of you have placed a lot of hope in other things, and those things are going to be swept out like a rug in just a second. Many of you are looking forward to some football season. It's not going to happen. Yeah, there is a new normal. It's called the apocalypse. It's called the end of times. It's called Jesus is fixing to return to get his church out of here. And the Bible says his wrath shall be poured upon the ungodly and those that practice unrighteousness. God is trying to get you to escape what is coming upon the earth. He has sent me here with a gospel message that if you'll just repent, if you'll just surrender to Jesus, you can have life today and avoid hellfire that will come upon all the ungodly. God is trying to get a hold of you, sinner. If you'll come to the mercy seat, you can find forgiveness for sins. But today, if you choose to cover your sins, you choose to stay in your drunkenness, you choose to live in adultery. Let me tell you today, if you're married to someone other than your first spouse and they're still alive, you're in adultery according to the word of God.
If today you are sleeping around living in sex before marriage, the Bible says that's fornication. And the Bible says no fornicator will go to heaven. God is trying to get you just to repent that you can be cleansed because there is a path to hell. And the Bible says that many will just do what's right in their own eyes. Many will do what they think is good. But if you're in homosexuality today, if you're a liar, if you're a pot smoker, if you drink alcohol, you're on a path to hell. And I'm trying to get you to turn away from it because Jesus is coming soon. There's many people out there that will tell you a lot of things to tickle your ears and make you feel good. But the Bible says there's none that is righteous, no, not one. And it's time to repent. God hates country music. God hates rap music. God hates rock and roll. If you love that today, then you don't love God. That's it. There's only two camps today. Either you will love God or you will hate God. There is no neutral ground. Many of you go to church. You go to church, but you don't hear the truth preached. Many of you will say that you're a Christian, but you don't even read the Word of God. You don't have a relationship with God. You know about God. The Bible says the devil knows about God too. The devil believes in God and trembles. Your faith will be evident by your actions. You can't say you believe something and don't do it. You can't say you're a Christian and live in sin. You can't be a Christian and watch rated R movies and PG-13 and all kinds of curse words and profanity and violence and nakedness. You can't be a Christian and love the things that God hates. You're going to have to make a choice today. Will you choose to obey God or will you choose to just bribe God by good works? You might go to church once a week, throw some money in the offering plate. God's not interested in that. God's interested in your life. But today you want to hold on to your country music idol. You want to hold on to alcohol. Many of you are gamblers, you're liars, you're thieves. Have you ever stolen anything in your life before? God says that's called stealing. That means you're a thief. You need to repent. God can forgive you today if you will humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Silence you devil. I know devil. Jesus is about to return. Jesus is about to come back for his church. He's coming back for a people that have made themselves ready. When Jesus comes, he's going to find many people that were not ready. Today, if you're lost and undone, today, there's many of you that are walking in unrighteousness. There's nothing in this world worth your soul. A cigarette is not worth your soul. Adultery is not worth your soul. The idol of a television is not worth your soul. If you watch all kinds of filth on a television, that means that your heart is indulged in that. That means that you're drinking from the cup of devils. That means that you're being programmed to love the world. The Bible says clearly the world is at hostility against God. This world hates God. That's why many of you hate the gospel. You don't want to hear the truth because it brings conviction. Because God is holy. God is righteous. God is high and lifted up. God is not what you want to make him to be. God is not some Santa Claus up in the sky just to give you what you want. God is a great king. God is holy and majestic. And God demands everywhere that sinners repent. God is warning you today, sinner. You're running out of time. You're running out of time. It's now high time to wake out of sleep. Wake up. Economies are collapsing and still many of you are asleep. You're still continuing sin. You're still having sex before marriage. If you die in your sin, you will go straight to hell. I promise you. God is trying to warn you today. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a matter of in a year getting things right. It's not in a matter of when you get to that next job or that next place that you're going to surrender to God. Today is the day of salvation. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Many of you are on a downward spiral. Your life is closer to hell than you think. Your life could end today and you run out of time. God is knocking on the door again for you. If you don't repent today, you will go to hell and you'll hear this message in hell with no hope of ever, ever giving your life to Christ. 
Hell is a place that's real. It's a place where people still pray, but there's no answer. Hell is a place that people will still need a drink of water. You won't be able to get a drink of water, never mind that beer that you cherish. Hell is a place that you'll never be able to fulfill lust that you have sold your soul thus far for. And God is trying to get you to come to terms, to count your soul precious, and say my soul is worth more than some petty sin that will take my soul to an eternity separate from God in a devil's hell. But God is calling you to repentance, to believe in the gospel and come to Jesus Christ, that you could be covered under the blood. If today that you love country music, that means that you're an enemy of God. Either you'll listen to what God says or you won't. Either you'll obey God or you'll disobey. You have to make a choice today. Choose who you will serve. Either you will choose to live for God or you will choose to serve the devil. Many of you, you follow what the world says to do. The world says this is what you must buy. The world says this is where you must live. The world says this is what's important. But many of you, you don't believe the word of God. You won't believe and obey the word of God. You'll choose to agree with what some stupid talk show host tells you to do is right, but God's word says it's wrong. Repent, sinner. Repent. If I would say a word over and over again today, the first thing you must do is repent. Until you can repent, until you will turn away from sin, there's no other step to take. You're running out of time today. There's people I've talked to that are not here today. They stepped into eternity. They lost their chance. This might be your last chance. God's trying to knock on the door of your heart. God's trying to get a hold of you, trying to shake you and say, it's time to repent and believe the word of God today. There's many of you, the Bible says, the wicked have no peace. You don't have peace. You don't have peace today. Some of you, you have to depend on the pharmacy. The pharmacy is the only thing to help you sleep today. Some of you, you have depression. God can help you. You know what depression is? Depression is an assault. It's a spiritual assault from the enemy. The answer for depression is not Xanax. The answer for depression is Jesus Christ. God can give you hope today. The reason why you don't have peace or hope is because you just don't have God. You see, you were created to be a vessel for God. And there's an emptiness in your heart today, and you're trying to fill it up with a lot of things. If Jesus tarries till this fall, you'll realize when football doesn't happen, you'll realize how empty it is. Your life is very empty today when college football doesn't come, when NFL doesn't happen because of this pandemic. You'll see very clearly that your life is empty and you need a savior. Are you just gonna hide in your home and watch Netflix all day, all kinds of filth and immorality? It will take your soul to hell. I warn you, find life in God today. Will you come to terms and agree with God? Are you going to rebel against God? Many of you would spit in Jesus' face today. You would crucify him today if you had the chance. You know why? Because you're rebelling against God. You hate God's law. You hate God's word. You will not follow his commandments. It's very clear today. There's a lot of anger in the world today. There's a lot of hatred towards the word of God that is manifesting itself. The Bible gave us the Ten Commandments that if we would do them, we would live by them. But of course, mankind cannot fulfill the Ten Commandments. That's why Jesus came to fulfill the law. Today, many of you disobey the Ten Commandments naturally. Many of you take the name of God in vain. You use God's name as a curse word. One day you're going to stand before God and give an account for all the profanity that you use. You're going to have to give an account for idolatry. Many of you have an idol called a television that you will sit in front of every night for four to five hours. You worship it. You watch all kinds of ungodliness on that television. Why? Because you're ungodly. You're entertained by ungodliness. You like watching homosexuality on television. You like watching drug use on television. You like watching violence on television. You like worshiping all kinds of celebrities and people that are Satan worshipers. Why? Because you're ungodly. The Bible says, by their fruits you shall know them. 
You don't gather grapes among figs. You don't plant corn and expect peaches. And you can't live unholy and go to heaven. If today you're living ungodly, today you're a drunkard, the Bible says no drunkard will go to heaven. That beer is not worth your soul today. That alcohol is not worth your soul. Country music is not worth your soul going to hell over. I'm telling you, you think it's just a good time, it will cost you everything. You need to repent today and believe the gospel. Don't just believe some man that preaches in front of a false church. I'm here to preach you the truth today from what God's word says. And either you will reject God's truth, you'll trample Jesus under your feet today. God is doing everything possible to prevent you from going to hell. You are literally going to have to step over Jesus to go to hell today. There's a cross in your way today to prevent you from going to hell. But many of you are willingly going to step over and climb over the cross to go to hell. Hell is a place that was made for the devil and his angels. God did not intend man to go there. You choose to go there. If you don't love God's word, you don't love this message, well, let me tell you, the message that's going to be in heaven is this message, so you won't want to go there. It's real today. God, God can set you free. God can set you free from pornography today. There's some people here that are bound in pornography. Your heart is bound in lust. And today, if you would die bound in lust, then you would go to hell. God is extending mercy to you if you agree. Repent. God can cleanse your heart today. There's some of you out here today. You're a liar. You lie on your resume. You lie to your spouse. You lie nonstop. You can't tell the difference between a lie and the truth. The Bible says all liars shall go to a lake of fire. The Bible says all that commit abominations, all those that go contrary to God's word, all unrighteousness is sin. Today, if you choose, if you choose to side with your flesh and sin, then you are choosing to be an enemy of God. Don't make God your enemy today, because God that is holy in heaven, God that reigns in power, the God that created this earth, it says God is taller than the stars. God formed the oceans, he holds the waters in the hollow of his hand. Today, you are challenging the Almighty God with your rebellion. And God demands that you repent. God demands that you submit yourself to your Creator. God does not make robots. God will give you the choice to make a decision. God will give you the choice to surrender to Jesus or reject Jesus. Today, many of you are rejecting Jesus. Many of you are trampling God underfoot. You mock, you scoff, you think it's a joke. But when you stand at the judgment seat of the Almighty, and as He's casting you into hell, you'll wish you had one more chance to repent. You'll think back on this day. You'll think back on this moment. And you'll say, I wish I had a gospel track. I wish I could just give my life to Jesus, but time is up. It's appointed once for man to die, and after this, the judgment. Believe it or not, you're heading towards a judgment day. There's a court date set for every single person, and the devil doesn't want you to know about it. The devil wants to lie to you. He wants to destroy your soul in hell with him. But there's going to be a court date for you. You'll have to answer for your fornication. If you're having sex before marriage, the Bible says it's fornication. If you die today, you would die and go to hell. God is trying to get you to repent. You'll give an account for the crime of pornography. If you're bound in lust today, don't let pornography take your soul to hell. If you're bound by cigarettes, pot, if you're bound by dancing, if you're bound by sports, there's some of you today there's some of you today that are bound by sports. Sports is your God. The Bible says no idolater will make it to heaven. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind and soul and strength. Do you know what the greatest commandment is? It's to love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and all your strength. Today, if you don't love God with all your heart, that means that it's all or nothing. If you don't love God with everything, 
then you really don't love them at all. You might give 99% of your life to God, but God wants 100%. God is against all kinds of immorality. There's a lot of nakedness today. Immodesty. Nakedness is of the devil. Rock music is of the devil. Country music is of the devil. Anything that's opposite against God's word is formulated by the father of lies, the devil. Don't just be a puppet for the devil. Don't just follow the devil. Many of you think you have control of your life, but you're bound in alcohol, you're bound in homosexuality, you're bound in fornication, you're bound as a liar, bound as a thief. Many of you are bound in profanity. From your mouth comes all kinds of obscene vulgarities. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Today, why you use profanity is because your heart is full of wickedness. You're a wicked person today, and God can set you free. Come to the mercy seat. There's a place called the mercy seat where Jesus Christ can meet you. Jesus Christ can cleanse you from sin. Jesus Christ can cleanse your heart from loving the world and being disobedient. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times will come. Men will be lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. The reason why you won't submit to God today is because you love yourself more than you love God. You feel you have the right. It's your life. You can live it the way you want. God will let you make that choice, but it will send you to hell. God demands obedience. God demands that you would yield to Him. There's some people out here that are probably a pastor. They're probably a Sunday school teacher. And you still love country music. You need to be delivered today. There's some of you that have an idol called a television that you worship for four or five hours every night. You don't spend any time with God. There's some of you that have a television that you watch violence, immorality, drunkenness, filth. You watch all that because you love it. The Bible says in Romans 1, there's many people that will take pleasure in unrighteousness. It says that they know it's wrong, but yet they love it. They're entertained by it. Are you entertained by sin today? Does sin make you smile? Do you like to go to the bar today? Do you like to listen to the live country music? I don't mind if you do. I'm going to keep going. Oh, the Lord is coming soon today. He does have a people. God has a remnant of people that will follow the truth. Today, many of you disobey. You can't love country music and go to heaven. You can't love alcohol and go to heaven. You can't love sports more than God and go to heaven. You can't do it. Jesus must be Lord of all. I know that shocks you because you've never heard that message. But God's word is true today. Let every man be a liar. Your false preacher at your church probably told you a lie. There's a lot of lies going out there today. And God demands that you would repent and believe the gospel. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. You must agree with God's word though. God's word says, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Today, if you don't love the word, that just means that you don't love God. The Bible says in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. You know what you're going to be judged by at the great white throne judgment? You're going to be judged by the God that's taller than the stars. He's going to judge you according to the Word of God. And all that disobeyed, that lived ungodly and rejected the escape of Jesus Christ shall be cast into a lake of fire that was prepared for the devil and his angels. God is not willing you would die lost and go to hell, but he sent a preacher that you might repent and humble yourselves and be saved. Do you believe the word of God today or do you believe in your sin? Are you going to continue in your fornication? You're going to have sex outside of marriage. It will cost your soul in hell. You want to keep smoking pot? It will cost your soul in hell. You want to do your recreational drug use? 
You want to trust in a pill to give you comfort and peace? You need to trust Jesus. The devil wants to destroy your soul. The devil wants to destroy your life. The devil doesn't care about you. God is trying to get a hold of you. Many of you, you probably grew up in church today. You're backslidden. You're running away from God. You like to go drink. You like to go party. You like to go smoke cigarettes. You like to go to the bars. You think life's just about having a good time. Wake up. The economies are collapsing. Society is changing. Everything that you're looking forward to, you think things are going to be better in the fall. They won't be better in the fall. I'm here to tell you God's word has already told us what is coming to pass. Judgment is coming very soon. Martial law is coming very soon. A security state is coming very soon. There's a one world government that's taking place right now and there's a mark of the beast that you will take unless you repent. You won't be able to buy, sell, trade. One day, every single person, small and great, young and old, will stand before God. The tribulation is coming soon. And if you reject Jesus Christ, very soon you'll take the mark of the beast so that you'll be able to go to the grocery store. You'll take the little vaccine that they'll call it and you'll take the mark of the beast that will sentence your soul to hell forever. God is trying to get a hold of you today that you'll repent today, that your eyes will be open. Today you're asleep. You can't see that everything is closing down. The globe is shut down. And you think it's just no big deal, like it happens all the time. Your eyes are asleep, you can't see. God is trying to wake you up and get your attention that you would avoid the wrath that will come upon this world and the ungodly. If you're still living in fornication today, I suggest you repent, it will cost your soul. If your mouth is still filled with profanity today, it will cost your soul. If you're having sex before marriage today, it will cost your soul. If you're a pot smoker today, it will cost your soul. Does that make you feel good and comfortable? God's holy word says that. Are you going to justify your sin today? Or are you going to repent and believe God's word? It's your choice. If you choose to reject Jesus, this might be your last chance. You might be 15, 16 years old. You're still old enough to go to hell. If you don't repent and believe on Jesus, if you don't trust in Jesus today, when you have the knowledge of what right and wrong is, when you know what sin is, you're going to be held accountable for it. Because God made a way of escape through Jesus Christ, and if you choose to reject the way of escape, then you choose to damn your soul to an eternity in hell. Hell is not an imaginary place. Hell is not some imaginary fairy tale. Hell is real. And the Bible says all that reject Jesus will go to hell. The Bible says all that live unrighteously will go to hell. The Bible says it is appointed once for man to die and after this the judgment. If you would die today, are you ready to stand before God? Es tiempo arrepentimiento. Jesucristo viene pronto. Necesito arrepentimiento. ¿Conoces a Jesucristo? Necesito nacido otra vez. Or you're not on the way to heaven. God is trying to reach you today. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what your background is today. God died for you. And today, many of you are trampling Jesus underfoot. You would slap Jesus in the face today with your sin. With your ungodliness, you slap Jesus in the face. With your rebellion, you raise your fist in the face of a holy God that formed this world. Are you going to harden your heart? Are you going to wait, raise your wine glass in the face of God Almighty and rebel? One day, you'll think you'll get away with everything, but you won't. There's coming a payday one day. You wait till Friday for that payday. One day there's going to be a payday for unrighteousness. 
You have to pay for your sin. You have to pay for your immorality. You have to pay for your drunkenness. You have to pay for your pot smoking. You have to pay for getting a drink at the bar. You have to pay for all that one day. Wake up, repent. Wake up. Can't you see what's happening in the world today? It's time to repent and believe the gospel. Your soul could be taken from you in a moment. You could die in a head-on collision tonight and go to eternity without God. You could have a heart attack today. You could have some hereditary disease you don't know about. You think you have 20 years from now. You think you have 40. You might not live through tonight. And if you would die today, if you're having sex before marriage, you die in sin, you will go to hell. I'm here to warn you. I'm here to preach the word to you that if you repent, God will punish the ungodly. God will punish all unrighteousness. God is love and God is also just. If somebody committed some horrible crime against your family member, you would want the judge to sentence them. And God is more righteous than any judge in this land. God will sentence and punish all ungodly. The Ten Commandments clearly say, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other idols. There's a lot of idols today. Many of you worship sports. You worship college football. You worship NFL football. You worship celebrities. You worship entertainment. That's your idol. Anything you love more than Jesus Christ is an idol. I don't care what it is. You can love a car. You can love a job. You can love a person more than Jesus Christ. And that is called an idol. There's many people today that have a lot of idols. There's nothing in this world worth going to hell over. Having a beer is not worth going to hell over. Listening to country music is not worth going to hell over. Watching some rated R movie is not worth going to hell over. You're going to have to choose what you love today. You love God today, or do you love this world? You love to disobey God. Make a choice. You're making a choice with your soul today. You've heard the gospel. You think it's by accident that you roamed over here, probably intent on sinning, going to a bar, listening to some filth that is protruding from a country music bar. But God had it that you would hear the gospel one more time that you would not choose to go to hell. There's some of you that have been remarried and your spouse is still alive. That's called adultery. The Bible says no adulterer will go to heaven. The Bible says marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge you. God will judge you. God will judge every single person, not by your rules and by your standards, but he's going to judge you by God's word. There's some of you that are having sex before marriage. That's called fornication. If you die in fornication, you will go to hell. There will be no clapping in hell. You'll regret it one day. And you'll wish you could come back to this day and time and repent. The Bible says no homosexual will go to heaven. No homosexual will go to heaven. God can forgive you today, but you must repent. Even just telling a little white lie can send a soul to hell. Jesus Christ died for your sins and my sins, that you would repent and be born again, that you could be free and not face the penalty that a just God is justly right in giving because why? The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you believe that you're good enough to go to heaven on your own merit, then you're saying that the blood of Jesus Christ means nothing to you. Jesus Christ paid a great price, not that you could continue rebelling against God, not that you could have anger and mock God. There's some of you who use God's word, use God's name as a cuss word. That's called blasphemy. That's called taking the name of God in vain. God will not hold anyone guiltless that takes his name in vain. 
but God will judge every single person. Today, there's many of you that are bound in sin. You have a television called an idol. You spend four or five hours probably every day in front of that television watching ungodliness, violence, sexual immorality. You're entertained by homosexuality. You love your television of what's promoting anti-Christ messages and you don't love God. You must make a choice about who you will serve. Either you will serve yourself or you will serve God. God is a very reasonable, merciful God. He's not willing any perish and go to hell. But he's willing that all should come to repentance. And the message today is repent, Nashville, repent. Repent of your drunkenness. Repent of your country music. Repent of your fornication. Repent of your lying. Repent. Repent of your lukewarmness. Repent of your disobedience against God. Repent against your blasphemy. Repent against your profanity. Repent today. Unless you repent, there's no hope for you today because you make God your enemy. If you think you know better than God, that just goes to show that you have made yourself God. Today, there's some of you that choose to trust in yourself. Many of you go to church, but you've never been born again. You still love the things the world has. Today, alcohol will send your soul to hell. Fornication will send your soul to hell. If you're having sex before marriage today, the Bible says that's fornication. If you die in your sin, you will go straight to hell. It's a certain thing. It's nothing to celebrate about. God doesn't want you to go there, and neither do I. But you have to be aware. You have to understand the truth is what's going to judge you, not me. Not some fake preacher in a church that's a false teacher. Many of you listen to Oprah more than you listen to God's Word. You listen to some talk show. You'll read the National Enquirer for your direction in life. But you don't believe God's Word today because you hate God. Today, you might as well come to terms that you hate God. You say, I don't hate God. If you love sin, then you make yourself an enemy of God. You hate God. If you love alcohol more than God, then that means that you hate God. If you love to tell lies, you love to go gamble, you like to go to the casinos, that means that you hate God. You can't serve two masters. If you love to watch UFC fighting, that just means that you hate God. You love violence. If you love country music, that just means that you hate God. Because you can't love the things that God hates and still love God. Does that make sense? You can't say I love God and then love the things that God hates. That means that you're not God-like. If you love God, that means that you'll be God-like. A Christian means Christ-like. A Christian obeys God's word. A Christian does not support homosexuality. Homosexuality is an abomination, the Bible says in Leviticus. All sin is wickedness. Even telling a, a lie will make you a liar. Today, if you've ever told a lie, you continue to tell lies, that just means that you're a liar. And the Bible says that no liar will go to heaven. The Bible says no drunkard will go to heaven as well. If you think you can have a beer, you think you can have a wine glass, it will cost your soul in hell. If you think that you can cheat on your wife and commit adultery, it will take your soul to hell. There's some of you that are having sex before marriage, you're not even married to the person you're sleeping around with, it will cost your soul in hell. Get right. Agree with God. Obey God. 
Today, many of you are so programmed by the media, you're so controlled by the news that you see. That's why you wear a little mask most of the time. That's why you believe that the government really knows what's best for you. That's why you believe that this vaccine they're going to come up with is going to save the world. You know why? Because you're blind. This pandemic is nothing more than the apocalypse. The end of the world is coming, and the judgment of God upon the ungodly is coming rapidly. And God's trying to wake you up, that you would be accounted worthy to escape and be saved by the blood of Jesus. Jesus can set you free today, but if you want to stay in sin, you'll stay bound and go to hell. You gotta make a choice today. You gotta make a choice today of what you're going to do with the gospel. The devil doesn't want you to hear this message. And the devil can't speak over this microphone. And the message of gospel goes out to lost sinners out there. Whether you care about your soul or not, I care about your soul. I'm willing to tell you the truth. You don't think there's going to be a judgment. You don't think that you're going to have to give an account for the crimes that you've committed. There's some of you that are involved in pornography. It will take your soul to hell. There's some of you today that you steal from your company. You take credit that doesn't belong to you. That makes you a thief. And the Bible says that no thief will go to heaven. Many of you use profanity nonstop. Believe me, you won't stick up your middle finger to God before you're cast into hell. God's trying to save you today, sinner. God's trying to save you from your path that is heading towards the devil's hell. Even though you are mockers and scoffers against God, God's still merciful that he will allow you to come to the mercy seat. I don't care how vulgar and how, how much anger you have showed against God, God can still forgive you. As long as you have breath, you still have an opportunity. Why don't you repent, sinner? Repent, sinner. Repent of your ungodliness and come to Jesus Christ. Repent. You might not make it till tomorrow. You're not in control of your life. You can lose control of your vehicle. Someone else can hit you in a head-on collision. Someone else could break into your home tonight. And your life would go into eternity without God. This might be your last chance, sinner, to come to Jesus. Repent of country music. Repent of drunkenness. Repent of loving unrighteousness. Repent of idolatry. You watch your television spewing filth nonstop. Repent. Don't let it take your soul to hell. All idolaters, the Bible says, will go to a lake of fire. It's not God's will that you will repent the way of escape through Jesus and go to hell. There's some of you today that are living in sex before marriage. It will take your soul to hell. The Bible says sex is for marriage. Today, you choose to willingly rebel against God. The Bible says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Many of you, you spew profanity. That's because that's what's in your heart. Your heart is wicked. Your heart is ungodly. And that's why you use profanity. There's some of you that use God's name as a curse word. I wouldn't use your mother's name as a curse word, but you'll use holy God's name as a curse word. Does that scare you that you'll have to stand before God and give an account for that? It should. Repent. Repent. Many of you, you don't even care about this gospel message. You've probably heard it before. And God's trying to get your attention again today. The sad thing is today, many of you will believe what you read at Walgreens on some magazine before you'll believe God's word. You know why? Because you disobey God. You won't obey God. But you'll obey what the media says to do about the pandemic and put a little mask on. 
You believe that they know what's best for you when economies are collapsing and you think things are going to get back to normal. You believe that. There will be no football season. Your idol of a football will not come to pass this September. Why? Because apocalypse is coming. The end of the world, judgment upon the ungodly is swiftly coming. And I suggest that you repent to be born again of Jesus Christ. God is trying to reach to you, sinner, that you would repent and avoid the destruction that will come upon this world and the ungodly. There is a one world government coming, whether you believe it or not. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's the truth. There's coming an antichrist that will rule the world, and you will take that mark of the beast if you reject Jesus Christ. Many of you are all ready to take that chip. You'll take the mark. Many of you think that they're not going to take your guns and your weapons. They will. They will take it because you know why? You need food. Food's a powerful weapon to control you, and that's what you're controlled by today. You're not controlled by God's Word. If you believe God today, you'll obey Him. You'll be controlled by God. But today, many of you, you don't love God, you disobey God. You're controlled as a puppet of the world. You know why? Because you follow what the media says, you follow what the TV says. You can't think for yourself. You're programmed. That's why you follow trends. That's why you follow all the things the world says to do is because you're just a follower. Don't be a follower of sin. Don't find comfort in a mob of riotous living. Today, God commands you to repent. That's the message today that many of you refuse to hear. You still love your country music, repent. You still love your alcohol, repent. It will take your soul to hell. There's some of you today that use profanity nonstop, repent. Profanity is just the sign of a wicked, ungodly heart full of unrighteousness. If you have an idol called the television today and you watch violence, homosexuality, adulteries, thefts, you watch that today, God commands you to repent. Repent. The Bible says you shall have no other God before me. Today, if you're living in sin, God commands you to repent. You're running out of time. The hour is closing fast. The end of the world is coming if you haven't noticed. Economies are collapsing if you haven't noticed. There is going to be a security state if you haven't noticed. And they will make you comply as you've already done already. That's why they tell you of a pandemic and they get you to comply with a little mask. They get you to comply with six feet apart. They get you to comply because they say we know what's best for you. You know why? Because they're going to just control you. Why don't you let God control you? You're going to be controlled by the devil or God. The devil wants to destroy you. The devil wants to destroy you with a lie. The devil wants to take your soul to hell. But God wants you to have life. Why do you listen to the media? Why do you follow what the magazines say? Why don't you believe God's holy word? Do you know how ignorant that sounds? That you believe what the news says more than what God's word says? That just means that you're a puppet. That just means that you're a follower of the world. Yeah, I have a special ride. A ramp. The Bible says it's appointed once for man to die and after this the judgment. Believe it or not, there's a court date that's set at the great white throne of judgment for you. And one day, you're going to give an account for homosexuality. The Bible says no homosexual will go to heaven. God can forgive you, but you must repent. Homosexuality is not worth your soul going to hell. Fornication, having sex before marriage, 
is not worth going to hell over. Being a liar is not worth going to hell over. Alcohol is not worth your soul going to hell. If you choose to justify your sin, having a profane mouth, you use profanity today, is not worth your soul going to hell. If you're a pot smoker today, it's not worth your soul going to hell. If today you love country music, it's not worth your soul going to hell. You love rap music, it's not worth your soul going to hell. All unrighteousness is sin, the Bible says. I can name specific things for you to make it more clear. If you think you can go to heaven with a beer in your hand, you're deceived. If you think that you can live any way you want, you're deceived. The Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. If you sow to ungodliness, you're going to reap corruption. You will find that you're an offender, a transgressor against God. I'm here to warn you that you would look into it for yourself. What does God have to say about it? Read his word. There's some of you today that you have a thing called an idol, called a television. You watch your television four, seven hours every day. You watch violence on the television. You watch immorality, adulteries, thefts. You watch blasphemies. You watch people mocking God on television and you're entertained by it because you hate God. The Bible says no homosexual will go to heaven. Homosexuality is an abomination before a holy God. You must repent. All sin is unrighteousness today. I'm here to tell you, you can't live any way that you want. You can't live how you want to do. You can't do what seems to be right. But you're going to have to come in agreement with God. Stop rebelling against God. Repent. Stop hardening your heart against God's word to justify your sins before God. The truth is just this. You place more worth in stock in some news article than you do God's word. You don't even read God's word. Some of you go to church, but you live like the devil. Some of you go to church, but you don't even read God's word. Some of you go to church, you have no time for prayer with God. You have no relationship, just a profession. Some of you, you know about God, that's not enough. If you know God, it means to love God. And if you love God, Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You don't keep God's commandments, that means that you hate God. That's, that's very plain, very plain. I have to make it very plain because many of you have made excuses for a long time. God is against all the modesty, nakedness is of the devil. This world is full of all kinds of...